and finest Nissan Skyline GTR 34s well GTR 33s you can find right now in Japan and this car everyone is immaculate so in this video I'm gonna show you guys a little bit more in more details of this midnight purple LP2 GTR 33 and tell you about the story and its potential owner who is interested in the purchase of this legendary GTR. So everyone, let's take a closer look at the car. So we all know that Nissan Sky GTR 33s came with a special color for a sports car and that is of course LP2 color code Midnight Purple GTRs of course we came with and it looks just immaculate as, it, as you look at the car. It's, it's a special. It's not a purple, it's a Midnight Purple special color and after that, of course, all famous Midnight Purple 2 and Midnight Purple 3s were also manufactured by Nissan for the line of GTR 34s. So, this is the first Midnight Purple ever manufactured. And ladies and gentlemen, this one is year 1985, March edition, GTR 33. What it makes is, it's one of the most, basically, one of the first ever manufactured GTR 33s. Nissan actually manufactured in total numbers about how many was it? How many was it? I think 16 to 17,000 GTRs. And out of that, 15% of them were in midnight purple colors. 15% translates into a lot of cars, about 2,500 maybe. So out of that series once, which came in the year 1985 to 1996, they were manufactured in a standard edition just like this, about 911, 911 of them were in this particular midnight purple color. Oh my God, watch this. When did, when did this happen? Voila. It happens, stuff like that when you keep the car outdoor. Anyways, about 911 and this is one of them. And guys, I have been working with GTR 33s for so long and I haven't, I haven't seen this clean GTR 33 in a quite while yet. And not only this car is clean, but it's been modified. And for the details, I'm about to get in pretty soon. But, so that you guys get to see it, I'm gonna bring the camera a little bit closer to myself. And I wanna show you guys, as I talk about the condition, the way the car itself looks from a little bit closer angle. What can we know looking at the car as it is? First things first, easily noticeable is aftermarket pork racing TA37 bronze aftermarket wheels. They look very much beautiful in the car and a lot of people even in Japan end up placing those folks racing TA37s. And of course bronze goes pretty awesome with midnight purple GTR 33s as you guys can see that pretty much. Of course what else can you notice? Easily you can notice as well is Nismo front bumper right here. And Nismo front bumpers as well are quite expensive and I cannot give you the quote right now but they are in several thousand dollars at minimum and the previous owner end up placing Nismo front bumpers so as R33 um, late type front lip spoiler as well been installed on the car looks beautiful what else can we find of course it's got the gold front and rear emblems on the car of course gold emblems were optional from the factory and of course the first owner had to pay extra to get them installed and it, as you can see that looks very much beautiful as it is conditioned. Another couple of extra exterior upgrades on the car you can see is a genuine OPN1 top uh, foot top mold as well as original OP rear mudguard. 
looks beautiful on the car as well it makes it of course improvement to the way the car looks from outside but this being said let's take a closer look at the seals on the car which is a pretty good indication how well the car has been kept and as you guys can see that from here seals on the car pretty sturdy as it is manufactured from factory about 25 years ago from now looks beautiful I can say and I tell you what once again guys I want to stress this over the years of many many years of experience of working the GTR 33s this is probably one of the cleanest GTR 33s I have seen so far available for sale in the market and of course this car itself is available for sale in the market at our shop so enough for the exterior of the car I'm going to tell you a little bit about the interior condition as well as of course you got to take a look at the engine compartment of the car so let's take a look how do you feel of course first thing that we all notice whenever we are trying to take a look at the GTRs or you know trying to purchase the GTR of course how the way it looks from here this angle and I tell you what, this car looks pretty amazing. So, let me sit down here and let's talk a little bit about what kind of upgrades it's got while keeping the engine running because I love the way it sounds. Listen to this. Wow. And sometimes I like to press the pedal and have fun. Let's take a closer look at the interior of the car and I'm going to hold the camera this time myself so that you guys get to see it a little bit better as well. As you guys can see, most of the time, as you can see from the most videos and photos I make as well, is that the boots on both or all 25 year old GTR 33s get really, you know, kind of dirty or torn apart and stuff like that. But this one, ladies and gentlemen, is a factory stock and looks as clean as a clean it can get over the past 25 years imagine that this has been kept here for 25 years and the previous owner also installed a really nice carbon looking of course uh, the covers for this parts of the car which makes the car look really 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 good now let's focus on the cluster of the car guys please note that this car has got 37,000 kilometers and previous owner replaced the cluster of the car when the original mileage of the car was about 12,000 kilometers we, we of course we got the document that proves the original mileage of the car as well as um, the cluster original cluster as well so a Nismo cluster and why most people end up replacing it is that original cluster was up to 100 80 kilometers and this one as you guys can see from Nismo it's up to 320 kilometers an hour hour and with the Nismo cluster the car has got about 24,000 kilometers at the moment but looking at the interior so far we can notice actually quite a number of upgrades done to the car but before I go and jump to, into this let me show you guys how the air condition of the car works and I tell you what it must be perfectly fine of course it is Turn it off. So, what can we find out looking at the interior of the car? Quite number of upgrades it's been done. So, let's go through them one by one. First thing is first, what I love about this car is it's got a bunch of carbon upgrades on itself, as I told you from the beginning. And it starts as simple as um, carbon transfer shift panel, of course, right? Carbon transfer power window switch. Carbon transfer door in the handle and cover. Carbon transfer uh, column cover, basically, as you can see right here. Carbon transfer welcome step. It looks beautiful on the car, as you guys can see that right here. I mean, this is the first time I'm noticing GTR 33 with carbon transfer welcome step. It looks beautiful, I can tell you that. And of course, finally, what else has got the carbon part? It's got carbon transfer room lamp just right here, as you can see that. So previous owner ha has given the car so much love and care and it's just crazy how much 
how much detailed uh, maintenance the car has been taken care of and easily guys let me stress it one more time this is one of the cleanest GTR 33s I have seen in quite some time and of course it's available for sale at our shop and you get to get a little bit more information on the sale of it pretty soon at the end of this video as well so quite a number of other things it's got the Panasonic ETC uh, system of course installed if you want to drive on a highway what do you need of course ET system so it's that the, the money will be withdrawn automatically from the car what else it's got it's got the genuine OP IBA works uh, foot pedal four points all installed on the car as you guys can see right here all of them looks beautiful and I tell you what's expensive as well at the same time uh, it's got the genial genuine OP knee pad who would install knee pad beautiful um, and of course it's got the Alp Alpine the CD player as well which is also off the market looks beautiful and it's got quite a number of instruments installed as well of course I mentioned about the Nismo cluster this being said it's got the oil temperature grudge as well water thermometer um, hydraulic grudge as well as boost meter installed on the car as an upgrade which makes it look pretty awesome and all those upgrades guys are the best of the best I tell you what and most importantly it's got the CPU Apex Power FC computer as well as Apex boost control kit installed on the car and it's been done such a fabulous job and I'm sure previous owner didn't stop didn't think of the money when it comes to detailing the the GTR that he is about to become an owner of it's just beautiful ins and outs it's immaculate that's all I can say uh, looking at the car let me get out from the car so that you guys get to see a little bit further on the interior of the car as well welcome Pat beautiful beautiful GTR34s all the time if anyone who has who's like a little bit weighty uh, sits on the car or if you keep like keys anything on the car it's very easy for the car to be smashed and broken up this part of the car but as you can see that it's it's just fine of course there's a little bit of fear yeah, I wouldn't pay too much attention for it it's just too clean to be true it's beautiful now let's take a look at the handle guys apart from uh, the boots very very clean very very smooth now if I'm missing something if I'm not saying something please do let me know so that I can try to make it better next time around so most importantly now let's take a look at the engine compartment of the car so let's take a look everything about the car the upgrades that you can see I'm gonna go through them one by one it's just beautiful it's just beautiful 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 take a look at the strut towers I have seen a lot of cars with strut towers got rusted or at least some rust coming up from there but this one as it perfect as the GTR 25 year old GTR can possibly get take a look at this one here's a chassis play by the way if you guys want to take a look at it but it's just immaculate as it looks now looking at the, the engine compartment hull of the car let's go through one by one on number of upgrades that this particular GTR has got so first things first although we usually recommend for the timing belt on the car to be changed about 100,000 kilometers this car has got 37,000 kilometers so you most of you are going to understand right but of course if the age takes a toll on the car as well being 20 years or so we still recommend the change in timing belt as well as water pump and everything else as well accordingly with the maintenance of the car this car's timing belt so as the water pump has been replaced already of course it's got the most famous n1 water pump whenever the timing belt so as the tensioner and adler has been uh, was being replaced on the car what else can we see of course it's got the solder air cleaner fitted on the car pretty good 
uh, intake has been of course upgraded as well as the car has got R2 full titanium and dual muffler as you can see at the back. Cooling legs upgrades the car has got. It's got the cross three layer intercooler kit. It's quite expensive compared to its uh, counterparts. As well as HDS intercooler piping, thrust element, mobile oil cooler, as well as, as you guys can see here, billion radiator cap. Looks pretty awesome. So, of course, it's got a bunch of undercarriage as well as drive related upgrades as well. Those upgrades include PC twin play clutch, L4 harmonic drive, so as first go uh, pillow power upper. So far, so good. And now has been set on the car. I guess it's time for the most exciting moment of taking a look at this GTR 33, which is, of course, is taking the car on the road to check out its performance. So, you guys ready? Let's do it together. I tell you what, with so much upgrades on the car as well, it's gonna be one hell of a ride. And I'm very, very excited for that. Let's see. You see, one thing I wanna mention, guys, as well. You see, I'm pressing the clutch. And can you guys hear the noise? That means it's aftermarket clutch, okay? So, but again, it's the same thing with the GTR34s, so as the GTR33s. Oh my God. This one is good. Let's take this baby on the road towards the highway. This is so much better than my own GTR 33. Unbelievable. <laughs> oh my God. I mean, the way the car pulls, the way it moves, boost transmission, everything about this car is just fabulous. What do you think? Oh my God. <laughs> Unbelievable. I'm not saying that because I'm driving the car or trying to sell it. I think this car might already be sold because I will tell you about the story of the person who's interested in this car. But again, all in fairness, this car is just fabulous. Everything about it is just fabulous. It's dent free, as you guys can see that. It's literally set for a little bit of a crack on the lip. Um, it's got a bunch of highly desirable, very expensive upgrades. 37,000 kilometers only and it's been exceptionally well, well maintained even the timing belt with N1 water pump has been replaced on it which makes the car stunning so now let's talk about the story of the car the story of this car is the car did not belong to my shop to start with okay special customer it's okay baby it's okay <laughs> Special customer, great friend Michael from the United States, reached out to me about two months ago saying, Hey, GTR33, soon to be USA import legal. It's my dream car. Can you help me to find the cleanest GTR33 that you can, you can get your hands on in Japan? With that, boom, I started making searching for the car, and all of a sudden, this one popped up because owner was offering it for sale. That's what happens sometimes in Japan. I showed it to Michael, he jumped on it immediately. To the backing of his deposit, I ended up purchasing the car because I knew that the cars like that are extremely rare and highly valuable. And it's an investment grade car by all means. So even if Michael doesn't end up purchasing the car, I'm more than happy to keep it in my shop. But he will have that chance to decide first whether he wants to proceed with the purchase of a car or not. So that's the story of the car very short and simple and we will see what happens whether Michael will end up proceeding with the purchase of a car and I think honestly it's hard to pass a car like that and even if he doesn't I'm pretty sure that there will be so many investors or GTR lovers trying to get the car like this and for the price of a Michael I don't want to give out the price on the car but what I can tell you is that the price of a car is somewhere mid 50 50s 
Did I tell you the price already? But anyways, <laughs> but anyways, guys, that's what it is. That's the story of the car. And now let's continue enjoying the performance of this GTR 33 Midnight Purple. Stunning, stunningly clean, stunningly good looking GTR. <laughs> on the lip and with you today it's been just done and thanks for watching and you do now let me know what do you think of the car what do you think of the upgrades and what do you think Michael should do do you think he should purchase the car or not let the let let him know in the comments below and I'm sure he'll be more than happy to read that comments because I told him that I'll be making a special movie on the car for him specifically but if he passes on it car car on the car Wow, then it's available for sale. So, anyways, as usual, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you are not, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram as well if you're not following. And of course, I look forward to see you guys in the next videos to come. Cheers, have a lovely day.